So I'm going to just show you a quick example of what it looks like. So you scroll down, you find your genre, and you want to start looking through playlists, you will find the following things. As an independent artist, you want to have any and every advantage you can possibly have when it comes to getting your music out to the masses. Well, there might be a tool out there that a lot of you might not have heard of, or maybe a lot of you have, and it's called the Indie Bible. And in this video, I'm going to be specifically talking about the Spotify version of it. And before I dive too deep, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Much appreciated as always. And like I said before, it's called the Indie Bible, but I'm going to be talking about the Spotify version of it. So what is the Indie Bible for Spotify? Basically, it lists a ton of playlist creators all in one place. If you go to the website IndieBible.com, you will see the link to the Spotify. And on there, they claim that they have 4,200 playlists in the Bible. So I've recently been trying this out and I've had some success with it. I'm gonna keep going, keep working on it, and see what kind of results I can get from using the Spotify Bible. And of course, if you can get on more playlists, quality playlists, more plays, weekly discovery, you know, you know how that all works. So I don't need to tell you why it's so important to get your music on more and more playlists. Let's say you're in a rock band or a metal band or you're a country artist or singer songwriter, this has everything you need. And what I love about it is it breaks it down into different music genres so you don't have to hunt and search and stab in the dark to try to find playlists that will fit your style of music. All you have to do is scroll down to your genre and then start looking through the playlists. The playlist will range anywhere from having dozens of followers to tens of thousands of followers or more. And of course, just because there's you know maybe 100 or 200 followers on a certain playlist does not mean you should not target that to get your music on it because that playlist could grow and blow up and then your song could blow up with it. One thing that I was blown away with right off the bat with the Spotify Indie Bible was the fact that there's over a thousand pages of playlists of Spotify curators. So I'm gonna just show you a quick example of what it looks like. So you scroll down, you find your genre, and you want to start looking through playlists, you will find the following things. First off, you'll find a curator and probably the email associated with that curator. You can also find their location. So maybe if you're wanting to target a certain market, you can do that. Then it will tell you the genre of the playlist, which of course is important. It'll tell you how many followers there are. It'll also tell you the amount of songs that are on that playlist at the time that they gathered that information. It'll have the description of that said playlist. It'll of course have the link to the Spotify playlist so you can check it out and maybe, you know, see if your music really is a good fit or not. The last thing you wanna do is waste their time and your time if you know your music is not going to be a good fit. So I suggest checking out all the playlists that you're thinking about pitching to. And another thing that you'll find here is any other social links tied to this curator. So far, my experience with the Spotify Indie Bible has been pretty good. I've sent off approximately a dozen to a dozen and a half submissions. I've been placed on a few already. So I'm probably sitting at a 10% success rate with what I've sent out so far. I have stumbled across a few pay to play playlists. I'm avoiding those for the time being. I like to see what I can get for free, where you know what kind of ROI I can get off of just a little elbow grease in the hard work, sending emails, sending you know messages on Facebook, Instagram, things like that. The Spotify Indie Bible does cost money. It's approximately $78. Is that worth it? I'm hoping to find out. And if I do feel like it's worth it, I will share the news with all of you. But I encourage you to check out IndieBible.com. They also have a YouTube playlist Bible that you can purchase and other cool things. I suggest going to IndieBible.com, checking it out. It really is a great tool to have for independent artists. And right now, I'm enjoying it. I think you'll enjoy it. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, maybe if you have experience with the Indie Bible, comment below good the bad maybe it's all good maybe it's all bad any tips that you have maybe to avoid certain pitfalls that you dealt with when working with the spotify indie bible or just say hi all right thank you for watching until next time adios